welcome back to Building in Beauty and welcome back to our next project. I am so excited to get started on this bathroom makeover. If you guys caught the last video, I uh, took a poll from you guys and asked you for your recommendations on how we should paint the shower, like what design we should do. So um, if you're just tuning in, I'm going to be doing a whole bathroom makeover here and we are starting with painting this shower because it is ugly as heck. It is so ugly and I know with a little bit of paint and some TLC, we can totally transform it. So I will share your guys' votes later in this video, so stay tuned for that. Today, what we are gonna focus on is actually just cleaning, prepping this space for paint. I'm also so excited to be partnered with Beyond Paint on this makeover. I absolutely love their products and I will be sure to share more about them throughout the video and why I chose to go with their paint um, because it's definitely something special. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's get this shower cleaned. So now that we have the space cleared out, I realized I need to address the elephant in the room, and it is this weird shower that I have, you guys. Isn't it so weird that the tub is in the ground? Like, I feel like whenever we have guests and they see this, they're like, wait, what? Like, it's just, I think it's very, very uncommon. And when we first moved into this house, I was like, that's weird. I probably eventually will get rid of it. But now that I have used this space for so long, you guys, I have to say, I love it. I absolutely love it. And the reason being, I mean, it's not a big deal. Like you just step down, it's not far. I think people think it's like this really far thing and like it's hard to get out of. It's really easy. And when you're in here, all of a sudden it feels like the shower is so tall and like triples in size. So um, yeah, I kind of have just grown to absolutely love it. Anyway, I just love it. It's weird, I know. But now that we have everything cleared out, I am ready to um, clean everything. And what I love about Beyond Paint is that there's no stripping, sanding, or priming required. So yeah, did I just blow your minds? I think I did. <laughs> it's incredible that their paint works that way. All they want you to do is just clean whatever you're gonna be painting really well. They recommend either doing a vinegar water solution or you can use mineral spirits. Since I'm painting a shower, vinegar water sounded like the perfect thing to prep this space with. So I just went ahead and diluted some vinegar um, in my little spray bottle here so we can spray everything down and get it all nice and clean. Nothing like the smell of vinegar, right? Nothing like it. It's making me want a cucumber. <laughs> in case you guys didn't know, like having a cucumber in vinegar is one of my favorite snacks. It's one of my favorite things. My mom and I share the same love for a cucumber with vinegar. Let me know if you guys have tried it, if you're the same. I feel like it's kind of rare to like cucumbers and vinegar. Like, is that a thing? I don't know. But um, yeah, it's really making me want a cucumber right now. <laughs> So Mark had something he wanted to say to you guys really quick. It's how projects are actually done. I just walk in and watch her do it. <laughs> and then they have me come in for certain shots to look like I'm doing work. <laughs> like, Mark, can you hold this there? That's not true. I call you in when I need extra strength and extra height. Okay, that's that's when I call you in to the projects and when yeah, I want you when to need microphone. the microphone. No, anyway, um, <laughs> it was really funny you guys are asking recently if Mark enjoys um, home renovation projects or if it's just me. You guys, the comment was really cute. It was like, I can tell Kylie loves home reno, but does Mark, so they wanna know. Do I? Do you? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> The truth is no, he does not, ladies and gentlemen. He does not enjoy home renovation, but he's he's quite I, the awesome rock star husband. I enjoy my wife. And I don't you, enjoy you, renovations. You support me in my crazy projects, huh? It is the next.
next day and I went ahead and just let all of the grout cure completely so it's not wet anymore. You wanna make sure that if you are gonna tackle this that your grout is not wet. You don't wanna have any water trapped underneath your paint that would not be good, right? So it's completely dry now, ready to be painted. I'm not really sure how I'm going to tackle painting the individual tiles yet. The first thing I'm gonna do is one complete coat of white paint over the entire shower, and that is going to be like my grout color. I think I'll have to do two coats of paint, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited because even with just a coat of paint, without even doing like the patterns that we've talked about, this is gonna look totally different. No going back now. No going back. <laughs> like that with every project. It's like, you can't go back. I'm excited. Here we go. Are you ready? It's gonna be so satisfying. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so much better already? That is already so much better. <laughs> Immediate satisfaction. Look how good that's looking. Am I crazy? No, it's looking so good. Best day ever. Goodbye, ugly tile. Goodbye. Goodbye. You will not be missed. first coat is dry and you guys doesn't it look so incredible I mean talk about a difference like <laughs> just the paint can make still to this day even with all my experiences and all of my weird painting projects still to this day I'm just like you know it's crazy so it's looking really good we definitely are going to do a second coat I'm going to work on that next I might even do a third we'll see how the second one looks but so far so good and I'm loving it oh boy it <laughs> looks pretty good <laughs> Mark has been out he just got home Holy what do you think cow. of it doesn't it look so good? So you're done, right? That's all you have to do is well, white tile? I know, right? right? I actually was meaning to tell you guys that you you could just, I mean, this you don't yeah. have to be crazy like me and paint every single tile and spend 20 hours. No, you could paint just the white or any color. They actually have, Beyond Paint has a lot of really amazing colors on their website, so you could pick whatever color you wanted. Which I is mean, super cool. it would definitely make it a lot easier than doing a Kylie project where there's <laughs> we just don't do basic. Paint colors. We don't do basic on this channel. If you've been here for a while, you know I like to make it complicated, but oh, it usually pays off. You know? Yeah. Anyway, do you love it? I do. I think you should stop right here. It's white shower. <laughs> Done. No. Ready to go. We're going all the way. Are you starting a second coat? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's going to look really I know. Cool. Doesn't it look so good already? Oh, man. I know. So You got to love Beyond Paint. You know, got to do some more stuff with them. I know. I love it. Love it, love it. So after three coats of white paint, this shower is looking completely different. I actually cannot believe how much better it already looks. And you guys, we are just getting started. Now this is probably the part of the video that you have been waiting for. If you guys caught my last video, I gave you five options to pick from as to how I was going to paint this shower, what type of pattern we were going to do. I asked for your votes and you guys, we do have a winner and the winner is number one. And I cannot believe it, you guys. I cannot believe that you're not all on my side for number three, but I am here to tell you, number one came in at 260 votes and number three came in at 245. So 15 of you made me lose, okay? Come on, come on. But what that actually means is that I am going to disappoint 
so many of you. I think I would feel so different if number one came in at like 500 votes and the rest of the options were super low votes. Then I would be like, okay, we have a clear winner, but no, we almost had a tie. So then I was like, well, some help you guys are, okay? I was like, wow, I really could almost have number three, but is number one really going to be the winner? And then, and then guess what happened to me? And then you guys, this is what happened is I was on Pinterest scrolling and all of a sudden this picture presents itself. And I'm like, well, 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 where was that pattern when I showed my friends the other ones? <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. Don't do this to yourself, Kylie. Like, don't do it. Because you guys, I can't tell you how many times I'm in the middle of a project. I've got this clear vision. And then all of a sudden, some something pops up and I'm inspired and I'm like, okay, we're gonna change directions. So you guys, tell me though that this new pattern Tell me it's not literally the perfect hybrid of almost all the options that I showed you guys. When you first look at it, you're like, oh, it's random. And then you're like, oh no, wait a minute, that's checker print. And then you're like, oh no, actually, wait a minute, because that's not checkered, but it kind of is, but we're using three colors instead of two. So wait a minute, what is it? It's gorgeous is what it is, especially with the way my shower is just being squares. And I actually have three colors picked out that I'm going to be working with for this project. Of course, these are beyond paint colors. The first one that I have is Pebble, which is like this really gorgeous medium to dark gray, which to me kind of looks like it could be like the black in that photo. And then I also have the shade Linen, which is a really pretty kind of uh, sandy tan color which reminded me of the tan color in that picture. And then I also have the shade off white, which is this gorgeous, creamy white color. So I was like, it's meant to be. <laughs> it's absolutely meant to be. I'm just so excited to get painting. I did go to the store and I picked up like a giant pack of random different paintbrushes to try. The last time I did this in my mom's kitchen, it took me quite a few different paintbrushes to figure out which one it was going to work best. So, uh, and actually in that project, if I remember correctly, I guess I could go back and watch my old video, but from what I remember, a little teeny tiny paintbrush like this is what actually worked best. So do you really think I want to paint the entire shower with this little tiny one? We might have to, we might have to, but I have some other options to try. So anyway, I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, but I don't want to disappoint any of you because so many of you also didn't vote for number one. And since it was such a close tie and then I came across this picture, I was like, that's the obvious choice. So if you guys have been with me for any amount of time, you know, sometimes we do some crazy little projects over here on my channel, but usually it turns out really good. So stick with me. I think this is gonna be a good one. I've been testing a couple different paint brushes and what I found to work the best, this brush in particular is working really well for me to be able to get a straight line. That's working really, really well. Um, it's stiff. So stiffer, the stiffer, the better. And then what I noticed, so these dark colors are obviously a lot harder to paint. I have to be like as steady as I possibly can. And I will say, I think I'm doing pretty good. It could be a little bit better, but luckily, organic looking tiles are in style. You know, tiles that aren't perfect and they maybe have some more natural edges because they're handmade, that's in style. And that's kind of the look that we have going on here with me just hand painting. So I'm totally good with that, but this seems to be working. And then what I was doing to clean up these darker edges is I actually took a brush like this and it is just pointed and it's also pretty firm. I was taking this, I dipped it in some water and so I would do my line and take this wet brush and go over it right in the grout line and it cleaned up the edge really nice. So I was debating if I was going to have to tape everything. That was my initial thought but after some more trial and error I figured out that that seems to work great. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to painting today. 
Let's do this. And I've had a change of heart. I have, <laughs> yes, I just had to laugh at myself because this is kind of typical of me. You know, I uh, start doing something and then I'm like, gosh, but I can't stop thinking about the other thing. You know, I can't stop thinking about the, the number three, the uh, modern check pattern that I shared with you guys. And I just can't get it out of my head. And when I started this project, I really wanted to do something that would kind of push my limits, push my boundaries, make this shower look completely different. And waking up this morning, I was like, it's giving checkered. It's just giving checkered. I love all of these colors. I think they are absolutely stunning. Like all the colors are beautiful, but I think because this color and um, this color here, I think these two colors are just a little bit too similar in this case. And so it's just not giving enough contrast for me and it's making it look just more like checker print, which I really didn't want just like basic checkered print in here. And that's kind of what it's giving. So I probably have you guys all confused now, which I'm totally sorry about, but I'm going to start over because <laughs> I am going to spend a lot of time painting this shower and I want to make sure that I absolutely love it. And I just think sometimes you gotta, you just gotta go with that first choice, which number three was my first choice. So I know I'm still going to disappoint half of you, but that's okay because I hope I can win the other half of you over, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to repaint this white. And I got a new color that we're going to work with. I actually got black. It's actually the shade, they call it licorice, which is the most gorgeous black. So I'm really excited to do that. I'm going to keep it black and white, keep it really contrast, a little bit modern with the modern check. And we're going to give that a go. So we're going to start over. <laughs> hey, are you ready? Gonna take the prize. Oh, gotta feel it. And I won't keep quiet. Okay, we are freshly painted back to white. It only took me two coats to cover those really dark colors. So talk about very impressive. <laughs> very, very impressive with the coverage. It is back to new like it never happened and we are ready to start again. So let's do this thing. So I'm feeling very nervous. There's something, there's something about doing the black on top of the white. It's just a little bit nerve wracking. So here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay. Here goes nothing. Ooh! Let's turn it up. So what do we think so far? I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. It's like with each section that I paint, it's coming together. <laughs> it definitely feels a little bit scary still because, uh, you know, it's like with, you just kind of have to trust the process as you're going, but I love it so far. I think it's looking amazing. One thing that we decided to do, this was Mark's idea. It's definitely a little bit more challenging. We were trying to figure out how I should paint the edges because if I, at first I thought I would just do checker print and I would just do like, you know, this would be like this, this is one tile. Um, so this would be like white, black, white, black, and just like carry it all the way around. But I was really nervous about having the black next to each other because the black is like so stark. So, Mark had the great idea that I should just continue the pattern, even though that's not where the grout is. So we have a grout line here and here, but I went ahead and painted it so that it matched up with the rest. I think I really like it. So like, that's not an actual tile, <laughs> but 
but the black is so dark and obviously this is just one coat of the black so it will end up being even darker but the black really kind of eliminates the grout lines so i think it's gonna work i mean we're trying to kind of have this it's a little bit of an illusion with making this look like one tile and these are maybe one big tile but really they're four tiles i don't know you guys get the idea i think it's cool it's definitely a little bit more work to kind of paint the lines that way i have to be like so steady and so precise but i'm up for the challenge we've made it this far obviously we have a long way to go so i'm gonna keep painting So with each square that I paint, the more and more that I am loving it, it's definitely very like contrasty right now, but we just have to keep the end vision in mind. This is definitely one of those projects that you have to just complete it before you decide if you really, really like it. So with each square, I'm liking it more and more. So that's a good sign. We're going in the right direction. Are you guys doubting me yet? I mean, you just have to know in my mind what the end vision of this bathroom is to know how this just totally makes sense in here. And I think it's really beautiful. It's definitely a lot of work. I'm questioning myself a tiny teensy bit on like if I should be taping everything just because my lines are pretty good for hand painting. I'm pretty steady. I am just slightly nervous to tape everything because I don't want any bleeding um, because I am actually painting inside the grout lines and because it's grout, it's not an even flat surface really to paint on and it's just kind of, I don't know, I'm nervous about taping and so that's why I've continued with hand painting, which sounds crazy to say that I'm nervous about taping, but I am. But anyway, speaking of tape, uh, the one thing that's really killing the vibe of this is the tape. So I have been dying to pull this tape off. Tape just, it kills the vibe. Like having that green tape up there, it's really killing the vibe. So see, and even here, I'm getting a little bit of bleeding because the, uh, it's such a rough texture. That's pretty good. So it's not too bad. I'll have, see, that's why I'm nervous. I mean, at least this is what, ah, okay. See, and even up there, it did me dirty a little bit. Ah, so that's why I'm struggling you guys with like, should I tape or not? Picture that's no tape over there. <laughs> Picture no tape. Here's what we're working with. I think it's really beautiful. And I've already done a couple like second coats on some of the squares. And I feel like with the second coat, I'm able to get my lines even sharper. So they look a lot better even on the second coat. So the first coat, of course, super rough, but at least I'm kind of done with this section. Almost kind of, we still have a lot of work to do. I'm just trying to lie to myself. <laughs> I'm officially on my last section here. I am so excited, but I'm also feeling like we're so close to the finish line, but also really, really far, <laughs> you know? I can't believe I've actually got this far today. I'm really impressed by myself and I feel like the further I go, the faster I get. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, we have this last section to go. It's eight o'clock. I just made a double shot of espresso and I'm ready to get this thing done. So I'll let you guys know what time it is when I am finished with this section. We'll see how long it takes. Okay, it is now 10.30. So this section took me two and a half hours. Not too bad, okay? Really what's the most time consuming part is these edge pieces because I'm kind of just like making them, you know? There's no grout lines really for me to follow so I kind of have to wing it. I just used a piece of paper 
<laughs> to uh, pretty much like give me a guideline and kind of match things up. So that's kind of the most time consuming part I felt like, but otherwise I kind of just boom, got through it. The espresso, let me tell you what, it helped. It really <laughs> helped. So now the last part that I have to do is the bottom. And I saved that for last because I just really wasn't sure how to paint it because on the left side I have two tiles and then the rest of it I have one tile and then over on the other like right side I have really small tiles so it's kind of like I don't know it's definitely not the best laid tile job that's for sure so uh, that's kind of not in my favor but I am going to go ahead and just paint the same pattern and continue with what I've been doing and carry the pattern down on it. The only part that was tricky for me to kind of think through was this one corner because it matches up weird. So yeah, I was trying to figure that out, but I think I came up with a good solution that will look nice, hopefully in my head. It's just not gonna be perfect and I'm just gonna have to be okay with that, but we are on to the last part of the first coat of paint. This feels so good. Hey, came in, looks cool. Breaking all the rules. Now we ain't never gonna lose. Look at how we came. It's the next day, and I am ready to do the second coat of black paint on all the squares. I am loving this so far. I did, I am really happy that I went ahead and um like carried the pattern down onto the bottom portion. It was just a little bit tricky for me to figure out, like I was telling you guys. The main reason is because of this corner here. Um, I decided to just leave this corner all white because naturally if I were to carry the pattern down, I would have done this section, like it needed to be black. But then if I did it black, it's gonna it, like interrupt with this tile here. And so then it would leave me with one little white patch and I just felt like that was gonna look weird. So I just decided to leave this whole corner white. I think it looks fine. Um, as my dad would say, every project has a unicorn. Um, and the unicorn is something that not everyone else notices, but you know it's there, but like upon initial showing someone, they're not gonna notice it, but it's just like one of those things that you know. This is my unicorn. Every project <laughs> has to have a unicorn, it seems, so this is it. It's fine, I think it looks really good. I definitely just had to, of course, work with, work with what I've got here, you know? So it's looking really good. I'm excited to do the second coat of paint on everything, and then I'm going to, I have to wait 24 hours um, for everything to cure a little bit more, and then I can seal it. So I'll probably do two coats, maybe even three coats of sealer. We'll see kind of how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, we are nearing, nearing the finish line. Break my heart. So you really wanna break my heart. What I do is a try and shake. Call me deep, watch me bleed, but you don't know my name. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, you guys, it is the next day and it's taking me so long to paint the shower that I had to go get a haircut. <laughs> anyway, I am really excited to put the final coat on the shower. We're gonna be sealing it today. Now, uh, the perfectionist in me would love to spend another, you know, 10 hours going through every single line and making sure that it's absolutely perfect and truly, this is one of those projects that you could nitpick for a very long time to get it to a place where you're like, it's perfect, but I already did that. I spent another couple hours kind of going through and just touching up any areas that were bothering me. So I feel like I'm at a really happy place with it. I feel good about it. And I wanted to make sure I felt that way because we are gonna be sealing it. And so once it's sealed, that this baby is sealed and ready to be used, which I cannot wait to <laughs> be back in this bathroom and use this shower. So I am gonna be using, Beyond Paint does have a multi-purpose sealer which is so incredible and it's really easy to use. I'm just gonna apply it with a couple light coats. I'm probably gonna do two coats. We'll see if I need a third. Um, it's supposed to go on milky and then dry clear. And um, I'm just gonna apply it with a roller and just do really thin light coats. It takes about two to four hours in between coats that you can, before you can reapply. So that's really fast, which I can totally appreciate. So we're gonna wrap up this shower today. So let's do this.
shower is done and you guys, I love it so much. I have to tell you that the sealer was like the icing on top of this project. It truly made the paint like look so upscale. It actually, because of the shine that it has to it, it looks like tiles. It literally looks like I retiled this entire shower and I can't believe it. I mean, seriously, when we look at where we started with this shower to now talk about a huge makeover, a huge transformation with paint. And seriously, I owe it all to Beyond Paint. Thank you so much to them again for sponsoring today's video because without them, this project would not be possible. There are so many ways that I have seen to paint a shower, but because of their unique product and having so many colors available and such great paint, they made this possible. So thank you again to them. I will leave everything linked in the description for you guys so you can check them out. I also have to say some of my favorite things about this project, and of course it's a little bit unique to my space, is because of this pattern that I chose, I love that I was able to seamlessly carry the pattern around the shower. And what I mean by that is that this side here matches this side over here, my corners matched for the pattern. I was able to carry the pattern up top and down. It just truly made it look really seamless. And that's part of the reason why I really wanted to do this pattern in the first place is because I initially counted out all my tiles and I knew this pattern would carry around, which would give me such a nice look. I also love that I was able to do this on a budget with paint and it's also something that I felt like I could go outside of my comfort zone because it is just paint. I think I would be a little hesitant to go and buy tile and pick out tile for this and do a really contrasty pattern like this and think, am I gonna love it for a really long time? But for some reason, because it's just paint, I felt like we could totally go there and do something experimental and totally change the space and I just love it. So please be sure to comment you guys. Let me know what you think of this makeover and if it's something that you want to tackle in your own bathrooms in case you didn't know if you could paint a shower, now you know you can absolutely and you can get a super great result, especially with Beyond Paint. So um, please leave a comment. Please make sure you guys are subscribed. I always love to hear from you. Thank you for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.